this is going to be our roof rails uh, but we need to this is a 10 footer our van is 15 feet on each side so that means we need 30 feet of coverage and we got three 10 footers that means we have to cut one in half and that's what we're doing right now these snowboard goggles will come in handy one day. So this is almost done. Uh, we tightened up the screws, uh, I think, on this side yesterday. We still need to go in and fix these, that, and we haven't done the top side at all. So we need to we need another ladder to do that. Uh, but that should be pretty easy because it's fit on. It's it's nice and tight. So once we tighten this, this will be good to go and we can move on to the roof rails. So we're running into some problems right here. Uh, the nuts that we bought, it's a different thread than this. Uh, this is what's holding, holding the rail down. So we either need to get new bolts that are compatible with the thread or we need to get new washers that are compatible with the nuts that we have right now. So that's another trip to Home Depot. Hopefully we can find uh, something that works with this or, or, or another washer. So here's the solution we come up we came up with. Ah, I'm gonna use this uh, carriage bolt to screw this all the way in through the beetle tape and then do the nuts from this side with the washer and the, the split hopefully this works because we're kind of out of options if, if this doesn't if it doesn't work Okay, so that's in. And I guess I should go down there and test. So this is a testament of how stupid I am. This is too long. This is way too long. And we originally think a one inch hex bolt wouldn't fit. Um, but uh, because we originally think uh, in one inch one inch hex bolt doesn't fit because it's yeah, it's not long enough to go through this layer. But, see this, this is a two inch uh, carriage bolt. But, and I measured this part is about an inch, an inch and a half, which means the top, that what the screw, uh, what the bolt has to go through is about half an inch. And so if you put a one inch uh, bolt over, 
and it'll be something like this. So it's just about enough. So I guess back to Home Depot. Something inside of you that says I just have to follow that because you don't know. I think these are it. No, but this is one inch, right? This is one inch. All right, so take a whatever this thing's called. All right, we're lining up with the below tape, and then. Screw it in. Alright, so we're finally done without the rails. It took us two days to do it, but it's pretty good. Focus! For some reason, the camera is not picking up my face as the as the focus. And this is like my my fifth outro clip. Jesus. Uh, but anyway, the rails are done and they're like really tight. Uh, the car is shaking and they're not even moving. So I think that's a pretty good job done. Uh, we're moving on to the solar panels and we have four solar panels that we need to mount on these rails. And there's gonna be a hole somewhere. Uh, to collect all the wires from the solar panel and go into the electrical system in the car. So, solar panel is gonna be the next video. Um, please stay tuned and thanks for watching. <clears throat> this is not easy.